Meteorologist Bernie Taylor here in the First Alert Weather Center. Want to give you an update on a major hurricane ongoing out in the western portions of the Atlantic heading into the Caribbean. This is Hurricane Barrel, which yesterday became the first Atlantic hurricane of the season. A very early hurricane and made some records stay it rapidly intensified. You can see the eye of this storm We're starting to lose a little of the colors. The sun's going down over the Atlantic. The storm went from a category one to a category four major hurricane in less than 24 hours, becoming the first category four hurricane to occur in June in the Atlantic Basin and the earliest category four storm that we've ever seen in the Atlantic Basin. You can see the track of that storm. You can see the colors changing quickly there as it went again from category one to a devastating category four storm with winds currently 130 miles per hour. It's moving relatively quick for hurricane standards, moving at 18 miles per hour to the west northwest. Now we set our attention on the windward islands, parts of the lesser Antilles, as that's going to be the first area impacted by very significant hurricane conditions and hurricane warnings are in effect for parts of the windward islands where the storm is expected on Monday to make landfall as it moves. So we already have hurricane warnings in effect. That's the red color. The uh, yellows, that's a tropical storm watch. The blues, tropical storm warnings. And do have a tropical storm watch in effect for parts of the island of Hispaniola. So the southern portions of the Dominican Republic into Haiti. So uh, those areas could see some potential tropical storm uh, conditions. Then we'll be watching Jamaica as hurricane conditions likely be featured there uh, by the time we get into the middle part of the week. So here's the latest hurricane, or the forecast from the National Hurricane Center. So it's expected on Monday to move across the Windward Islands as a Category 4 hurricane. Check out these winds, 140 to 145. So dramatic or dangerous style hurricane conditions will be whipping across those islands. And then as we head into Tuesday, the storm system is going to move south of Puerto Rico, south of the Dominican Republic, and then by Wednesday, could make an impact on uh, Jamaica as a category two storm. Now you see the numbers dropping down on the storm system. There's expected to be more wind shear that this hurricane in parts or deals with as it moves through the Caribbean. So as it works towards the Yucatan, it is likely to decrease some, but still likely to be potentially a category two hurricane making landfall in areas Somewhere along the Yucatan, you can see the uh, cone starts to spread out more as this storm system approaches the Yucatan and then potentially as it moves across the Yucatan could reemerge into parts of the Gulf of Mexico. But again, that cone of uncertainty goes out and I want to show you why. So let's take you into the, the what we call the spaghetti model. So this spaghetti plot, this is where we take a bunch of different fluctuations in the models, plot it. And it allows us to kind of see some of the variability or agreement between the models. And you see all these lines tightly packed as this uh, hurricane moves its way again south of the uh, Dominican Republic, south of Puerto Rico, but heads towards Jamaica. So all the runs of the models in pretty good agreement where the center of the storm will be. There starts to be a little fluctuation as we get into the mid and latter parts of the work week, but still everything pointing for the most part that this system works its way towards uh, the Yucatan Peninsula. So Cozumel, Cancun, Playa del Carmen, areas like that could be of impact. But then this is <laughs> the spaghetti is like we threw kid through the spaghetti against the wall. All the models disagreeing big time on where exactly this system would go. So could it have an impact on parts of the Western Gulf, particularly parts of Texas? Maybe, but we're talking a ways out and a lot that we have to digest and look at, but it does look like the big impacts will be across parts of the Caribbean. It does look like this system for the most part will stay south of the Dominican Republic and Haiti, south of Cuba, but Jamaica will have a potential major impact as could be uh, the uh, Yucatan Peninsula. The next and the weekend and next week we'll be watching as this system could have some impacts in the Gulf, but where, when, that's still big questions as to watch. The big major news again, historic growth of this storm, the first category four hurricane in the Atlantic Basin in the month of June. It's more of a setup we see late August into September. That's a lot thanks to the very warm sea surface temperatures that we have. We'll keep you updated on Barrel. That's the name of this system, the second named storm in the Atlantic hur hurricane system, and we'll keep you updated on any other storms that form as we continue through the hurricane season as well.